Good day people, in uh, today's video we will continue our analysis of gold. Uh, we have looked at the monthly time frame on our previous video and seeing where the gold is heading we have discussed that I'm expecting gold to fall down further. Uh, two, three more days have passed and we have seen some more data on gold. So we are going to look at that smaller data and see where it exactly it fits. So as you guys know, I'm considering this as wave 1, this wave 2, this again as wave 1 of smaller degree, and this is wave 2 in expanded flat. This, the reversal that certainly happened from the, the sharp reversal from the top of C, and this is a support area, is also helping us to see that the price is actually already started the reversal. If you look at uh, uh, weekly time frame, you can actually see that we already formed the basis of the large price movement downward and we have seen the uh, support that was broken right over here this one but if you look at the the previous structure we have are not able to we haven't been able to actually um, pass the previous bottom and which is this one we have one clear bottom which is this one the other one is right over here so if you look at the price action so far we haven't been able to pass that uh, but if you look at this price action, we can clearly say that we have a series of 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2, and we have another 1, 2 right now. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the price action that this has happened in the last 2-3 days. This is also helping us to see that we have actually completed wave 1 of wave 3 right now. Okay, let me zoom. Let me get the prices right over here. Okay. So we can now clearly say that wave 3 is looking like an, extend, an extended wave. We have already completed wave 1 right over here. Wave 2 is completed right over here. And we are now expecting that wave 3 is going to be extended. Now I do believe that wave 3 is going to be even one more level extended. So what I, that I mean by that is that we, although we have completed wave 1 and 2, I'm not expecting that this is going to be wave 3 of 3. No, I'm expecting this is going to be wave 1 again, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4, and wave 5. So I'm expecting a larger price movement because otherwise if you look at just wave 3, 4, 5, it doesn't give us, it does not take us uh, any much away from our price section. So it's got to be another 5 wave structure nested in this wave. If you look at the 4 hourly time frame, uh, lots of people are talking that today's movement was very bullish and it does looks very bullish if you look at it on an individual level. But if you try to connect that wave with this price action, then it's still corrective in nature. Uh, now we have two flat corrections, one on a larger time frame, on four, four, four hourly, one on a larger time frame that actually started right from here and over here. Another one is on an hourly time frame that actually starts from right over here or over here. There is a possibility that we might see some extension of this price movement, but one thing is very really uh, sure, that the important price action is uh, important point where the pi where the wave labeling can be negated is not around over here. Instead, it's right over here. If prices are able to pass 1958, uh, 59 right over top over here, that will be an indication that our wave count is wrong. But for now, if prices actually go above, does above uh, uh, just a little up, does not mean that we are actually seeing a impulse movement. So. In order to make that point clearly, I was able to uh, get some data and uh, pull a, um, a parallel channel around it, and you can see we have clearly seen some um, some resistance around this area. So I'm considering this as a five-wave uh, structure, very, uh, and you can see so that in on a five-minute time frame. Let me. So I'm considering this as price went up, wave one, wave two. Wave 3 right over here, we have a very weird looking uh, flat correction. This is wave A, wave B, and then wave C, and then we are seeing a last wave. Alright, so you can look at in that, that regard. But this wave does give us some other, some other motion, and that is that we can contain this whole movement that actually started from right over here, and imagining that this wave is right ending over here, we can draw a channel right over here. Alright, like this over here, and this channel is going to support uh, our future price movement. Alright, so we can use this channel and we can readjust the channel to the wherever the, uh, mm, the correction goes, as long as the correction, of course, does not pass the top. If it does pass, uh, as I've already said, that that will be, indicate that uh, we are going down. 
as far as if you are an analytician you have some experience and do not consider this as wave 3 I'm considering this as wave 1 2 another wave 1 another wave 2 small right on this occasion because I'm not expecting a lot of jump in this wave 2 and then we'll have some another wave 3 right from there right a stronger one and a correction not again a a deeper correction and then wave 5. This will be able to pull price movement right from the top over here and it will be able to um, give us the price movement that we need. And once that done then we'll probably see a larger deeper correction that will be a wave 4. But that's too early to say about that. So the point again I wanted to make today even though we have plus even though we have seen the price action in the opposite direction and it seems quite strong I'm still not um, convinced that we have actually started a new impulsive wave set from right from this bottom. Thank you so much for now. Have a good one and bye-bye.